Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I look insane right now and I'm going to explain why I'm in the process of making something and I'm going to show you all that right now. Um, I can try to tell you how to make it since I've already like made it in a sense. But let me just show you what I'm talking about. So right now I'm in the process of making these earrings for myself. Um, they look cool, I suppose. I'm not a fan of my flakes kind of like like lifting from the edges, like the roundness around the earring. But other than that, they're they're cool. Um, I see some little bubbles are still popping, so I'm just waiting on those to pop before I set them under my UV light that I have. Um, these are made out of resin. If you are familiar with resin, it is a, I mean, I don't really know how to explain it. It's just some type of clear substance that requires UV to harden. It's, you can either be by sun or a UV light. So yeah, I have the type where you use a UV light. So yeah, it's the UV resin. But, um, yeah, we're in the process of making these, um, I'm just letting the bubbles pop, like I said, just so it don't harden with bubbles in it, because I don't like that. But yeah, as y'all can see, this is my little resin little container that I use to mix my resin in. Um, yeah, this is the rest of my resin, so I was just like, let me just use all of it. Um, had a thousand gram resin. I, yeah, used all of it because I was making other stuff. But this is what I mixed my resin in. I made my resin black resin does come in a clear color um i used mica powder to color my resin i used it in black this right here i've spilled some so it's kind of messy on the outside but yeah this is the mica i used for this resin to make it black and for the gold specs i used these little flakes uh my camera's out of focus these little flakes to put the specs on there after I poured my resin and I mixed it with this spoon don't judge my spoon but yeah I have all other colors of like sparkles and stuff too but yeah that's besides the point but um yes yeah, so you pour your resin in this little container it's clear and then I put my mica powder on top I mixed it with the end of the spoon right here because that's what I had to mix right now <laughs> Um, oh yeah, and please wear gloves. I do have my gloves right here to the side of me that I just took off so I wouldn't touch my phone with them because they're kind of dirty. Wear gloves and do wear a mask because you're not really supposed to breathe in the resin. Also work in a ventilated area. If you're going to work in a room, I would advise maybe opening a window or something just so it's not like, um, you know, like stuffy in your room and just smelling like straight resin. But yeah, just open, work in a ventilated area and wear a mask like the one I have. I got this off of Amazon and get some gloves just so the resin doesn't get on your skin because it's not really good for your skin. But yeah, um, that's pretty much that. I've already poured it. As you can see, I broke my tweezers. So that was fun. Um, they broke. Yeah, but I'm trying to just wait till all my bubbles pop. So like I said... It wouldn't be any, um, let me take this mask back off. So it wouldn't be any bubbles in my finished product. So I just let it sit here for like a few while it does its thing. I still see a little bit of gold flakes in it. I kind of just wanted to experiment with the flakes because I've, I've used flakes, but like I've never like just sat them on top of my resin. So I wasn't sure how that was going to react. I wasn't sure if it was going to sink or it was just going to like not look right. But they look okay, but they are a little bit off my edges. I had them like lined around my edges like right there, but they're kind of like moving a little bit. So it looks like they're just floating in the middle of nowhere and I keep trying to push them back, but I don't want to push it too much before the resin comes out of the mold. Um, so yeah, there's that. So I keep just trying to like rearrange them with the uh, broken tweezer of mine. But yeah, just letting them sit here, and I got my little UV light right there. So yeah, um, it's I'll probably just show like maybe a tutorial if anybody was interested. It's not really like difficult, but there are little tips and tricks that you can do to avoid like bubbles getting in your resin because 
I'm I consider myself a beginner so I've only made like a few things but I've tried to like gather information from multiple people on YouTube and stuff to see what they did to get bubbles out so yeah if y'all want to see like me making something I'll just do that but um yeah I will come back when I put it under my UV light and I'll show y'all the end result so they are now under the UV I'm gonna let these sit here for probably a few hours just to make sure that they get dry all the way through because if you take them off too early the bottom will be wet and the top will be dry and it's gonna mess up your whole resin project so I advise you just to leave them on a little bit longer um yeah so that doesn't happen because i've had that mistake a lot of times so yeah forgot to record me taking them out of the mold but this is the next day i had to put an extra layer of resin on top just so it could like smooth out a little better because this part you could still feel but i put a little extra layer on top just so it could be smooth but yeah this is the outcome it's okay for my first time um hopefully they get better over time but yeah they're they're, they're straight i guess <laughs> but yeah that's them. Thank you so much for watching.